the show today with with death actually it's mm -hmm. a subject that you know don knotts and ike turner they know intimately so oh too what soon. too soon no it's it was just enough time has passed yeah now the world over funerals are a time to celebrate life and lay loved ones to eternal rest but unfortunately as our number five video proves even death sometimes doesn't go as planned no. <laughs> You know what? Oh. Look, I get you're like a third world country or something like that. Don't wear denim to a funeral. What? There's no. Wait, what if that's their? What's that? That's their version of Dockers. Get some. Get get some khakis. You want to get Class khakis? Class it up. Is uh -huh. all I'm saying. And why was that chick demanding a banana? Did you notice? Did you catch that? No banana. It, let's wa let, watch. Watch it again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh. I understand the need for a banana, but you don't have to be fanatical about it. Why? Well, uh, why ask well, at a funeral? Uh, well, cl clearly, Kevin, you don't know. I mean, how many times do I have to tell you? We've discussed this before. Now, St. Petersburg is Russia's banana capital of the world. A banana okay. used to be considered exotic during the Cold War, but now they've gone so far as to nickname them the people's fruit. She's just using her love for her country to get her through a tragic event. I did not know we had that conversation before, but okay, I, I noted, and thank Many you. Many times. Thank you. You're like a Wikipedia with hair and teeth, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks. And boobs. Coming in at number four, our... Yay! You can touch him. I did. You can touch yours. <laughs> okay, number four. Very exciting. Our esteemed colleague, Zach Selwyn, is in a new music video that yes. he posted yesterday. Yes. Here's the deal. Like, anyone that's been to an airport knows that the TSA, or... <sighs> <laughs> is, is pretty much a joke. Uh, they're highly concerned with shampoo and shoe bombs, and airport security doesn't usually employ James Bond types, mm -mm. right? It's normally like the mcdrive through type guys yeah. that are checking your luggage. Well, now Zach has actually joined the force as the TSA gangsters. <laughs> TSA gangsters up in this aeroport, though. You can't be bringing that shit on a plane no more, mother. Don't we confiscate your liquids because you know they pose a threat? I'll even confiscate your if I make it too wet. Damn, I hate to see that breast milk go to waste, but you could come right through if you give me a taste. I'm gonna need $50 if you know what I mean. I saw your big ass dildo in my x ray machine. Mother take them shoes off before you come stepping. Yo, I think this iPhone could be used as a weapon. I'm taking mail, buckle, money, clamp, coin, keys, wallet, purse, put some D's off it, run it through. Soldier Boy, like the X ray thing or something. Yeah, you know. TSA's gangster song, Belt, Buckle, Money, Clip, is now available through MySpace and iTunes. But you will have to enjoy it at home since the TSA has apparently a habit of randomly forbidding laptops and iPods to pass through security. Yeah, yeah. It's actually also on YouTube mm -hmm. as well. And Zach wants you guys to post a video response with your own TSA story. So get to it! Dun, dun, dun. Coming in at number three you today. You have a great TSA story, by the way. Check out Kevin's blog, KevinPrayer.com. Yeah. By the way, if you have trouble getting like three, like more than three ounces of gel, like if you have like a pomade yeah. or something like that, you need to get through. Just scrape off the amount uh, of, you know, it says it on the label. That's what they go by. They can't measure the liquid yeah. or gel. Just scrape it off the container. No, I know. Because they'll look at it like a monkey with a Rubik's cube for 15 minutes, and then they'll just pass it through. Yeah. So what happens? You go to like a Rite Aid or a CVS, and they have those like clear plastic bottles. Yeah, yeah. You get yourself a label maker. I. I'm not kidding. You you put on 3.4 yeah. fluid ounces. They're like, okay, yeah, right? 3.4. There you go. It's Idiots. Like, if you have a printer at home, you too can like, end around the I TSA. I appreciate that they're trying to save us, but come on. Yeah. You know, sometimes, like with you, with your swab, you're like, my swab's <laughs> going to blow up the plane. Homeland Security is going to repel from the roof and stab us both in the throat in about okay. five seconds. Apparently Let's move it on. The Fairfield Police Department hates me. Now LAX does too. Oh, come on. Coming it's in true. at number three today uh, is the glorious end of a, a comedy trend. 
Hopefully. Hopefully. Now, first, we had Sarah Silverman's music video about gaining biblical knowledge of Matt Damon. Then, just yesterday, we saw Jimmy Kimmel singing about the joys of swapping DNA with Ben Affleck. Yeah, now we get Elizabeth Banks' reluctant ode to horizontal folk dancing with one Mr. Seth Rogen. This was actually filmed on the set of their new movie, Kevin and Smith. Uh, it, or Kevin Smith's movies, uh, it's Zach and Mary make a porno. I'm Seth Rogen. She is Seth Rogen. Had to get to the top. I'm a face. Hurry, but no, I shoot my on her tummy. I lick it up, cause it's yummy. I'm Seth Rogen. She's Seth Rogen. I gotta do it every day. Yeah! I'm Seth Rogen. She's Seth Rogen. He's got a weird looking. Looks like an otter. Hey, thanks. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, I just got a call from the lab and all shot last week. Somebody spilled Red Bull on it. Not up. So we're gonna have to reshoot everything, including the scene where you're Seth Rogen with with the strap on. Awesome. Woo! Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Watching that video, I, I realized that Hollywood has done so incestuous. I mean, it seems like all the stars are sleeping with each other. It's just not clean. It's traditionally what royalty does. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Is that why I was knighted last night? That's it. Wasn't a sword. Oh man. Just a little Little tap, felt, tap, and we're both finished. That's a little regal this morning. Yeah, you know you're welcome I mean? for that. Thank you. And at number two today is yet another example of mainstream America stealing ideas from the subculture. Look, dancing alongside an empty moving car or ghost riding the whip uh, <laughs> started in, in the neighborhoods of Oakland in California just a few years ago. But now the nerds have their hands on it. They've actually made some slight changes just to make it their own. That's right. The music's the same. Yep. The dancing's the same. Mm -hmm. The attitude, the same. Absolutely. But the cars? Bit different. Yes. Awesome. Those guys are awesome. I want to hang out with them and buy them all beers. Yeah. Because right? a lot could have gone wrong with that with the DeLorean. Yeah. And, and they did it. Be friends with all of those guys. Yes. Except for that one guy, right? Well, yeah, except for the one guy. Yeah. But heads up, East Oakland Projects, you're on notice. Because yeah. you just got served DeLorean style. What? <laughs> yes, they did. Yes. You're supposed to say no, you didn't, but it's all right. No, you didn't. Yes, they did. No, you didn't! Finally, coming in at number one today is a shining example of viral videos gone right. Okay, let's say you're the head of VeriSign. Okay, I'm the head of VeriSign. <laughs> oh! 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 Yeah! This guy! Yeah, right here, it's me! It was me! Uh, man! That's what I do! Talk to people at home. Put food All right, on the table. talk to the people at home. Okay, talk to them. So say you're the head of VeriSign. A company that verifies a company that verifies online commercial transactions to prevent identity theft. Let's say you, at home, Aww. want to prevent people from getting spooked about buying something from a website, filling up their online shopping cart only to get scared and close out the browser. Well, you could start an advertising campaign mm -hmm. for VeriSign touting the security, yes. or you can make a flashy website to explain your product, or you could be awesome mm -hmm. and make this. I don't know what it is in a person. Makes him just pop in a band in a perfectly good shopping cart. Now, see, the key is you gotta talk to them in their own language. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. People say to me, well, how, How'd you learn to do that? How'd you learn to talk to them like that? <laughs> Come on, you can't stay in there. Can't live in there forever. You gotta go. Get on out. Come on, girl. Look at that. Yeah. Go on, girl. <laughs> that? That's one of my favorite videos in a long while. That man is so good. He's really good. It's like the onion news. Yeah. Man, 
think that that's so well. Look, you know, the internet belches out a lot of filth, and mm -hmm. we have to sort through it all because we love you. So it is really rewarding when we find a great internet video like that. Yeah, internets. Are you really going to let, like, an honest-to-God Madison Avenue budgeted ad campaign show you <laughs> up like that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, rise up. Yeah. Seriously, get your video camera. Start making some gold. That's right. That guy was amazing. We should have him on. We, I want him on. I want him to come talk to the shopping carts in my area. <laughs> okay. To get your daily viral fix, make sure to head on over to g4tv.com slash around the net. And there you can also sign up for the Around the Net podcast. Apparently, uh, it's the top 10 for iTunes it's, downloads. It's the biggest deal. We crash the iTunes servers daily. Do you know that there are top 10 iTunes downloads and we are in 20% of it? What? Attack of the show and Around the Net. There you go. That's oh. how freaking cool we are. And don't forget, tonight's 10 o'clock show actually yes. features our new ATN. That's around around the net mm -hmm. after hours segment with videos exclusive to our late night airing tonight. What were the odds? You're going to see a hot girl stripping on her webcam. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm coming in.